For many people living in rural or tribal communities, accessing the internet might not be easy. In tribal lands, almost 28% of Americans lack high-speed internet, compared to less than 2% of Americans in urban areas, according to the FCC. The Biden administration is providing funds to change that. But as Cronkite News reporter Maria Stobbs found out, better connectivity may not be enough. This construction project on the Tohono O'odham Nation is bringing the 21st century to a rural part of Arizona. Here on the reservation, our connection with internet is kind of sparse, so it's here and there. The Tohono O'odham Utility Authority is laying down a fiber optic network to provide high-speed internet to members of the nation. It's thanks to a $10 million grant from the Department of Agriculture. We are moving more towards the technology era and we don't want to get left behind. Via Chin resident Tonya Joaquin says the high-speed internet will improve her family's education and health care. We live about, what, two hours, two and a half hours away from town. Um, my son will have um, telemed, so he sees a doctor out at the Phoenix Children's Hospital. We don't have to drive there. We have a home visit on the internet. We're able to educate and teach, you know, our tribal membership of all ages. Kristen Johnson manages operations for the tribe's main internet service provider. She says broadband will provide opportunities for economic development. Whether they're basket weavers, they're dressmakers, you know, they harvest or whatever they do, they're able to put that on the internet and be able to sell it and be, you know, help themselves out. Biden administration officials have been touring rural and native communities like this one to learn their needs and assess the impact of their funding. Broadband is like water. It's an essential public utility that should be affordable and accessible to everyone. While members of the nation have welcomed the investment in broadband infrastructure, there are fundamental barriers that prevent its full implementation in Native American communities. High on the list, access to a computer or a smartphone at home and an understanding of how to use them. We have elders that they don't even know what internet is. Brian Fickett is the general manager of the agency that provides internet and cell service to the tribe. These folks will be able to connect at home just like they would um, off the reservation. Here at the Tahana Otham Community College, a computer literacy training program provides 10 members from each district with education on how to use the internet. Your subject line right here, and then your greeting, hello. Lessons can be as simple as sending an email. Anselmo Ramon is one of the leaders of the program. We trained them from the very basics of the components, moved them up to the features on the keyboard, move them up to turning it like on and off. There are students of all ages here. Some are familiar with the technology. It's been over five years since I used a computer, so this is really helping me to learn more. Others are starting fresh. It's really new to me. Everything's new to me. I've never been on the computers. Funding for the computer training course lasts only two years. So Anselmo Ramon has devised a plan to grow computer literacy throughout his tribal nation. It relies on students passing on their newfound knowledge. So in Train to Trainer, we want to train 10 people. In turn, we want those people to train another family member or a friend or a coworker. It's a practical solution because tribal members understand before they can run with high-speed internet, they have to first learn how to walk. I'm Maria Stobbs for Cronkite News. Arizona has been awarded close to a billion dollars in funding for broadband. The federal government is continuing to accept applications from underserved communities until May 14th.